solve the following system of equations, we're going to need to use either the elimination method or the substitution method. In this case, the elimination method is much faster, although they are both very similar, so I will still show you both. But let's start with the uh, elimination method. Here I can see that I have two like variables that almost have like coefficients and opposite signs. It's quite easy, though, to get them to have the same coefficient. We just need to multiply our second equation by 2. 2 times 6x will give us 12x. 2 times negative y will give us negative 2y. And then 2 times 13 will give us 26. Then we write our first equation over the top. And we can add them together. This will eliminate our two 2y's and leave us with 4x plus 12x, which is 16x, and 18 plus 26, which is 44. When we go to do this division, it is not going to be uh, an even division that gives us a whole number. We are going to have a decimal. So let's go ahead and pull that long division up to the side here. 16 can go into 44. Well, I know 2 times 16 is 32. That's probably as close as we can get. We'll have 12 left over. Then we'll need to add a decimal and add a 0 to bring it down. Now, I don't know how many times 16 can go into 120, but I know that we're solving for x. And I know that for my answer choices, the next digit either has to be a 7 or a 5. It can't be d because we have 2, not 3. So let's try 5. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 80. That's not nearly close enough, so instead, it should be our answer choice A, our 2.7. So from there, you actually could mark A as your correct answer and move on with the rest of the test. But for the sake of the video, I'll finish this division and then go back and show you how to do this with the substitution method instead. So we know that 16 times 7 will get us as close as we can get to 120, but let's go ahead and do that multiplication. 6 times 7 is 42. 7 times 1 is 1, plus 4 is 11. So we have 112 minus, we'll have 80 left over. And we just did that math, actually. 16 goes into 85 times evenly with no remainder. So our answer here, x is going to be equal to, we're going to write this, x is equal to 2.75. Then we need to go plug that in to solve for y. I would recommend plugging it into this first equation here. We have 4x, so 4 times 2.7, plus 2y is equal to 18. For this multiplication, 4 times 2.75, I would recommend doing it in standard form. So we'll have 2.75 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30. And then 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Count 1, 2, 1, 2. So that is going to be 11 plus 2y is equal to 18. We subtract 11 from both sides. These cancel, giving us 2y is equal to 18 minus 11 is 7. And when we divide 7 by 2, half of 7 is 3.5. Again, making answer choice A our correct answer. Now I'm going to erase some of this and go back and show you how to use substitution to solve. Now if we wanted to use the substitution method, we would want to target this variable right here because it doesn't have a coefficient and is very easy to, uh, to move around. So let's start with 6x minus y is equal to 13 and isolate that y. We'll need to add it to both sides using opposite operations. These will cancel, giving us 6x is equal to 13 plus y. Then we'll need to do opposite operations again to get rid of the 13 and leave y isolated on its own. Then we would plug this value of y, 6x minus 13, into our first equation. And that would look something like this. I'm going to go ahead and bring this around here so we have more room. 4x plus 2 times y, which is 6 plus, or excuse me, 6x minus 13, is equal to 18. Now we distribute, 2 times 6x is 12x, 2 times negative 13 is negative 26, equals 18, bring down this 4x. Now we combine like terms, 4x plus 12x is 16x minus 26 equals 18. Then you would do opposite operations to add to both sides. These cancel, 
giving us 16x is equal to 44. And now you see why I left our old math up here uh, intact is because we end up at the same exact spot we got to from elimination, but we just got to this spot much faster by using elimination over substitution. So you've seen the rest of the problem from here on. Uh, answer choice A is your correct answer.